when I first read it, uh, I was excited. Uh, I was enthused. Oh. I found it uh, How could you not be? interesting and fascinating. Well, BF and I are the co-founders of Mega Pictures uh, BFD. Right. And uh, we're really excited about this latest project that we have which is uh, called... Duck, Duck, Goose. Yeah. Duck, um, Duck, Goose. I read the first page. I read the last in page. Instant hook. I mean, I knew we had a hit. And when I say read it, I didn't really read it. Um, I had my assistant uh, draw pictures of it. And uh, This is a visual pictures. medium. Yeah. And what really jumped out at me was the fact that it was this great period piece. Yeah. And then, <laughs> of course, we discovered that it's not a period piece at all. It was, it was written true. during the Civil War. Right. Duck, Duck, Goose started out as a stage play. It was written in 1864 by one Chester Whiffle, who was a wheelwright and a cat farrier. And he wrote it over the course of one evening after an overdose of laudanum. Duck, Duck, Goose was slated to make its world premiere the week after Our American Cousin at Ford's Theater in 1865. As we all know, Our American Cousin ended with a bang on April 14th. And what would later be known as the Whiffle Curse began. Um, I'm Brenda Whiffle, and I'm so glad you're, you're here today. Um, this is my daughter, Christiana Whiffle. It's Chris. And of course, this is Chester Whiffle. He's the fifth. <laughs> Clive. He's my young... I like Clive. Chester's my youngest. I have this photo album that is such a treasured thing to me because it tells the whole legacy the heritage of the Whiffle family. It was a full 20 years before another attempt was made to stage Duck, Duck, Goose at the Ford Theater. President John Garfield was scheduled to attend the gala event, but assassin Jean Guiteau had other plans. Uh, we've attached somebody to it already. As a matter of fact, we're, uh, 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 Clarissa, Cla oh, yeah. what's her name? Clarissa Markin. Uh, Menken. Clarissa is fantastic. Oh boy. They said, you know, duck, duck, goose, and I said, I'm in. I don't even care what this project is about. It's about a presidential assassination, right? But that's kind of like a side story, you know? I'm the goose, and then there's the ducks, and then the presidential assassination thing. It's like, you know, one of those things. I mean, they're not really ducks, not really geese. Uh, it's, uh, it's, it's uh, what do you say, symbolic. I thought they were going to wear costumes. Well, they are going to wear costumes. I mean, like, you know, a duck and a goose costume. No, no, it's not really a... It's not about a real duck. Are you it's, sure? Well, that's a dog, but it's eating a duck. What is that? Oh, that's a Transformer. We have a Transformers yeah, in the I thought movie? there were, but no. It, it, my nephew got a hold of my notes and started doodling. Dear Sarah, I'm afraid I must abandon my moving picture project, Duck, Duck, Goose because the assassination of our dear President McKinley makes the subject matter untenable. There, there is a thing called the, the Whiffle Curse, but it's just nonsense. Every 20 years or so, when the, the, the project almost gets made, there, well, some president seems to People die. People die. Or... I briefly heard about the curse, and I think it's like every couple of years, no, every 20 or 10 or something years, I just feel like nowadays, it's, that's really nothing we need to worry about. So what happened in 1920? I don't remember who was president. That I don't know. Martin Sheen. Why do you have to make our family Would you stop him? Excuse me! In 1921, Warner Brothers selected Duck, Duck, Goose to become the first talking motion picture. The mysterious death of Warren G. Harding, however, silenced that effort. You're the one that made him leave. Why do you have to say such bad Would things? You stop that that you it. Every time. It can get pretty intense. I make a lot of collages um, of feet. I go out to my boat. It's me, my boat, and my feet, man. It's three of us. But it'll be happy at the end. Yes. Even though the president dies or something. The what? We now present the world premiere of the original radio drama, Duck, Duck, Goose. It was a fine morning one. We interrupt this broadcast to bring you this important radio announcement. President Franklin Delano Roosevelt is dead. You know, I want it to be really hip. I want to add sort of like an urban feel to it. And because, you know, I, I spin, so maybe get like Kanye West or P. Diddy involved, you know. 
I'd love to do a, a, a rave scene and then maybe some explosions. And you know, Michael Bay comes into my club all the time, so I was totally thinking about asking him to do it. Years later, Duck Duck Goose was once again resurrected, this time as a western starring Peter Laufer. Cameras were poised to roll in November of 1963. Oh well. The story of this family has been my life. And when the money comes through <laughs> and those kids leave the house, <laughs> this meeting means everything. Come on, Mom, I just don't understand why we can't just go in with you and listen. I told you, Faith will handle it. Well, where in the world is Faith, huh? I'm sure she'll be here any minute. All right, well, you're going to tell her my ideas, right? We kept the title, but got rid of the ducks and went with monkeys. What on earth are we going to do now that the president is dead? Where on earth is your Faith? We got Jodie Foster involved as well, but, you know, it was 1981 when we were doing it, and unfortunately the whole Hinkley thing, um, our project dissolved. I love the pictures, the and one. I want to make oh, a movie. Show, they but show the worth ten million dollars. Are you right there? Look, look, I'll use credit. It's, it's a wonderful picture, and I'm. We're, we are we are a go. Thank goodness. Thank yeah. goodness. I mean, this they guy. got some great people on their team. The the, the Wiffle family. Oh, yeah. Legal team. They know what they're doing. Top notch. But, yeah, uh, but FD right there, <laughs> right out of the park. <laughs> Oh, Chester, so Chester, Chester, uh, Chester Whipple is uh, is going to be uh, part of the project. Technical advisor. Technical advisor. advisor. Exactly. We are excited to have him. Very uh, glad to gonna, have him. Going to add to the project. Oh, nice. And we're, we're excited about that. Yeah. And now, with reports that Duck Duck Goose is going into production this year, we must ask ourselves: Is there a curse? And if so, is it about ducks? See it in theaters July first. Duck, duck, goo. D2G. 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 Right. See it. Someone should tell the president. Seriously.